All right, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so sorry, it's taken me a while to get back to uh, doing this video because um, I have been, you know, busy again, and, and I've been trying to work on a few things at once, and we all know how that turns out. So uh, anyway, I am... I am back working on this because I'm, I finally got all of my pages for this journal, uh, distress inked around, or oxide, actually, it's distress oxide, not ink. Um, so when, when I do these journals, I really like to distress them up and use the ink or the oxide around each of the pages, and it just takes forever. So I finally finished that, I think yesterday, maybe the day, no, I think the day before, um, so now I'm able to work on the cover. I've already done some of this, okay? So let me actually, before I talk about this uh, texture paste that I've got, let's talk about this, okay? So first of all, um, I'm putting on lights, okay? Um, so I've got those lights. These are not the Tim Holtz lights, but they are very similar. Uh, they're just little string lights that I got online at on Amazon. Um, and I'm actually going to take all of these clips off. Also, sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. Um, or, or a kid. I've got a sick one over there. Um, and he is watching Coco Melon. So, or as he calls it, watch the baby. Um, okay. So what I've got going on here is I've got a little pocket with some hook and loop for the um, the light switch. I've got a collaged pocket here with gussets on it um, that can open up like this. And I'm going to attach a string to the top once I get that done. But anyway, so I fixed that on the page or on the uh, cover this morning, okay? So what I've got is that and I'm going to uh, um, going to kind of build this out just a little bit more here on the edge, but we'll do that later. All right. So what we got here is a little pass through for the string lights. And um, earlier it was a little loud in here. Uh, now it's nap time and, and he just woke up from nap. So he had an early one. But I was trying to get some of this texture paste down because I had some glue and some just washi and you can see it's still not holding that well. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get it laid down so that I could put some texture paste on it. And if you guys remember from the previous video, uh, again, since it's been a while since I've made a video, it's the video just before this, I believe. And if you go on there and, um, look for the Christmas crafts, I believe 2020 or something like that, um, then you will see the videos in the series as well as, you know, whatever else. I decided to video for the Christmas season. All right, so I splurged a little bit, got some um, Ranger texture paste. This is the opaque matte. Um, actually, I got three of them, uh, but this one is transparent matte and opaque crackle. I'm debating using the crackle. I'm not sure if I will or not, but I know that I'm going to use this and the uh, white heavy gesso. Okay, so we're just going to play with this for a while, and hang on, let me go turn down the TV real quick. Okay. Now I've also got my Art Basics, my Finnabar Art Basics Heavy Gesso White. Um, okay, so I love this texture paste, this Ranger texture paste, because it is very, um, it's, it's pretty thick, but it's also creamy. 
I don't know how well you guys can see that. Hang on, let me fix my light here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see that a bit better. Okay, sorry about the shadows. I really need to figure out a better uh, setup. Generally, I would have my camera light on as well, but I forgot to turn it on this time. So I'm trying to get some texture paste down. If you guys remember from the previous video, that's what I was going to say earlier. If you remember from the previous video, I added layers of collage under this. Uh, just kind of, well, like tissue paper and stuff to try and add, um, you know, some hills and stuff. Um, and while that worked, While that worked, I also didn't want uh, a big, you know, a big area and then a small area and everything. I kind of wanted it to be gradual. So I'm going in here just trying to kind of even it out a little bit and um, make those spots more pronounced. because they were pretty subtle, but then they just kind of dropped off. So that's what I'm going for now. And of course, when this texture paste dries, it's pretty hard, so. All right. Yeah, this week, or this weekend, I've had some pretty good time to uh, craft, so that's good. That's a rarity for sure, but I'm really enjoying my uh, Christmas crafting so far. Ask me that in about a month, because I probably won't be by then, because I, I want to do so many things. So I end up just getting quite a bit... Uh, you know, quite a bit, uh, bogged down and just kind of like, uh, so, okay, here's a trick. If you use, I forgot about this until just now, what I was doing earlier, especially because I was like sitting in the darkness over there, um, oh, come on, light switch, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so if you're having trouble, like me, seeing where your lights are and you don't want to cover them up with an opaque, uh, an opaque texture paste, you know, turn them on. So I'm just making a few little uh, kind of snow dunes almost. I'm just kind of letting my palette knife just, you know, flow over and just, you know, go how it wants to. Because, you know, if you imagine this like a Christmas town of sorts and, you know, it's got... Uh, houses and stuff and you know all that then you know it's gonna it's not just gonna be flat it's not just gonna be you know perfect little hills I mean it's part of the fun about uh about winter is that the snow just kind of blows wherever and so I'm covering up all of this washi or, you know, attempting to. So yeah, we're just going to get done what we can get done right now. I wanted to get some of that texture paste down before I started videoing today so that, um, so that I could get the 
the lights and the you know the wire for the lights to kind of just hang out um, and that way it wouldn't when I was doing this it wouldn't just be completely off the rails so. Which, last night I actually did, or was it? No, it was this morning. I actually used my Cricut to, um, no, I think it was last, no, yeah, it was last night. Um, I used my Cricut to make a new book cover that's going to be for my own journal that hopefully I can use, you know, for like the rest of my life, basically. All right. Now, I, even though this is white, okay, I don't need to worry about the color of the washi tape down below because I just use some random washi that I really don't use in projects that much, you know. Um, it's, it's this. I got it originally for bullet journaling a few years ago, and I figured I'd use it, you know, to tape stuff down because I just don't really use it in the projects anymore. Um, but... I want this to be able to sit and harden and just create the texture, even though this is opaque. Um, having, you know, the heavy white gesso over it will really help out quite a bit. And again, this is texture paste, so don't get don't get too you know crazy about. Well, it's it's got to be you know it's got to be white. And you can't see anything under it because, you know, it's going to ruin the, you know, no, it's not. No, it's not. It'll be just fine. So, remember, you know, texture paste. Kind of like Diane Reevely says. The background is called the background because it's in the background, right? So, if your background isn't perfect, it really doesn't matter that much. And honestly, I am completely fine. All right, Bubba? He's good. Um, I'm completely fine with this being a messy edge. That's actually exactly what I'm wanting. So if it gets on, you know, down here, that's fine. Because I want it to be kind of a messy edge. Because if you picture this as being like, let's say this part here, is a road or could be you know whatever you know the side of a house or the side of a mountain or something um, you know whatever it is like Bob Ross would say in your little world it's not going to be sitting there perfectly right plus being being all snowy and and messy in the snow and all that is super fun. Now, I'm not going to be doing any um, heating with a heat tool with this. I'm going to let it air dry because with this texture paste specifically for some reason uh, if you heat it like as it's still wet um, so basically if you oh what's a good way to say this if you have it wet like this and you immediately put a heat tool to it it will start uh, puffing up you know those puffy stickers that used to be trendy? That's kind of what'll happen. And I didn't believe it at first, and I did it on a project, and boy, did I have a puffy <laughs> sticker by the end. Bubba, quiet. Yeah. Bubby. <laughs> yep, watch the baby, Bubba.
Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to turn this off so you can kind of see what it looks like. Isn't that fun? So now whenever um, this dries, then I will come back and... Oh wait, no, I won't yet. Hang on, because we haven't done down here yet. There we go. Let's see, so just some little. So no one knows exactly what's going on right here. See? And if we get the um, gesso around around the lights, or if we're trying to avoid the lights and we get some gesso, you know, we, we miss where some gesso could be that would really help kind of dampen the color of the washi tape that's under it, then I'm not going to worry too much because, again, this is a blue and, like, greenish themed journal. So I'm not going to worry too much about that because it will enhance the color a little bit, okay? I mean, obviously, it's not going to have a lot, but if there's a little hint of it here or there, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right. All right, fantastic. So um, I'm going to close this up. Actually, that's why I brought these tags here so that I could just put some texture paste on them. Um, all right. And then here is what we've got so far. So yeah. I will see you guys when this is done drying. All right, everyone. So the texture paste is now dry. Um, it is still, you know, where I could smash it down if I wanted to or needed to, but um, it'll continue drying even though I'm about to put the uh, other stuff on top. Okay, so my glasses. So let's uh, talk about this for a second. I got new glasses and I wanted the um, black frame, but it's taking forever for it to get here. I mean, it's been over a month. It, it's just, it's rough. So anyway, yeah. So I may never end up getting the other frames, but I really just wanted to, um, you know, have my glasses so that I could see things correctly. Okay, so. Um, here's some of an issue. So I was painting and, uh, I kind of, you know, got this a little bit messed up, but, um, I was going to do, uh, doors, windows, stuff like that, but I just, I cannot do that like detailed because it's just so small. So, all right, let's go through here. And work on this a little bit so um, I'm just using some white gesso and we should be in good shape with that um, I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of uh, gesso here and I'm just gonna kind of you know fix it up a little bit so I've got a whole bunch of these little houses they can be whatever you would like them to be in your little town. And, um, you know, they can 
serve whatever purpose and hey you know what if you buy this journal you can you can paint all the doors and windows you want i just cannot see like i'm just my precision is just not there so okay let's see here if there's anything necessarily okay those are good sorry hang on let me let me do a quick look through here just to make sure now i don't mind i kept some of the white showing like that because uh, i originally did a base layer of um of white gesso of the white heavy gesso but i wanted i'm going to um i don't know what you would call it but kind of snow cap them basically and so i left some of the white there just so you know i mean it would make that that much easier okay so the rest of these are good it was actually only those that needed some uh, some help so all right so what we're going to do is start placing our stuff. So I need, I see here, where is the brush I had earlier? Oh. And uh, since I'm a terrible brush parent, what I'm gonna do is use one of the ones that's on its last leg, basically. And we'll go, just start out right here so I really hope um, you guys are getting a kick out of this or you know at least enjoying the process um, sorry I'm not showing the whole thing but yeah just doing you know, like I have been doing the um, oh doing the distressing of the pages and stuff like that I mean since you know I work full-time I work you know extra hours I'm on call sometimes like I mean there's just there's just a lot that goes into my full-time job that I just I can't like I don't have a lot of time to craft and so when I do it's just little bits here and there and you know not even uh, sometimes enough to be able to turn the camera on so if I'm ever gonna get anything done generally it's doing the majority by myself and filming some of it so now these lights originally what I was going to do was add um, like I said I was going to paint windows and doors for the windows I was going to paint like a window frame and then I was going to um, either screw holes or poke holes into it um, but that didn't end up working because I tried I was working with my kids on a project for their school and <laughs> um, I tried to screw a self-starter screw into the one of the monopoly houses and it exploded so that was fun all right so i've got some super glue i've got some tacky glue I've got the texture paste and I've got the gesso. So hopefully, the combination here will help. Sweet. All right. So let's go in here. And I'm just going to keep adding this gesso. Honestly, since I, before I started this, um, I've gotten this gesso way before the move here to our new city. And so I didn't know um, when the last time I really used it was. But I haven't used it near as much as I should. 
Sorry, I just noticed I'm not in frame completely, so. Alright. So what I'm thinking is I might take a spatula. Perfect. All right. So let's see here. That's awesome. That's kind of what I'm looking for right there. Is okay. So what we're gonna do? So I, I kind of modeled this after my vision of like a Norwegian village. I don't even know if this is what villages in Norway look like, but um, we'll just go with that concept. So I wanted it to be, you know how you've seen probably mainly on uh, Instagram, I would assume, but how people have, you know, pictures of like these really colorful cityscapes or like countryside, you know, houses and stuff. There we go. Fantastic. I'm loving this. Okay. Um... So that was my initial thought, actually. So if you guys don't know the story, um, when I was, so COVID really started around here in like, uh, I'm in Southwest Missouri, by the way, in the United States. So COVID really kind of started here uh, late March. And with my work in emergency management, um, that's when we got really busy and we were working until like six thirty, seven each night, going in early, you know, staying late, dealing with stuff. And so it was like a lot to deal with. So I, that's why I wasn't doing videos for a while. Well, um, you know, COVID kind of started slowing down and now we're just kind of in this holding phase like everyone else is but back in um back in april um when we were all still super paranoid about getting it uh i got really sick and i got sick for two weeks and i had every symptom except the loss of taste or smell and um so i got covid tested and i was negative um and then while uh and then i was i was sick for another week so i got covid tested twice i believe during that time well we ended up uh while i was doing that since you know i've got six kids and everything um I was quarantined down here to the basement. You know, at some point I need to do a house tour of my new house. Um, I don't know how many people would actually care. I tend to find those videos, here's a little tangent, sorry. I tend to find those videos really interesting just because I like, I don't know, from like a sociology aspect, like how other people like live their daily lives, I don't know. Um, so our new house has a basement with two bedrooms, one bath, a uh, second living room, and basically like a kitchenette area. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's a sink and a counter, um, but we also have like bottle making stuff down here for the baby. And we've got, uh, you know, our coffee for in the mornings and, and stuff like that. So. Um, might as well be 
a kitchenette area, but, and there's a fridge down here. So, um, I was quarantined to just our room and my craft area, which you would think coming from, you know, someone that doesn't really have a whole bunch of time to craft, that that would be the best thing ever. Well, it was fun for a while, but I was so sick that either I couldn't breathe or I'd already watched everything on YouTube that I wanted to. I, you know, I ran out of Gail Augustinelli's, you know, new videos and I ran out of Tina's and, you know, stuff like that. And so, um, I wasn't really like wanting to watch YouTube or anything like that. And so, um, sorry, hang on. I'm, I'm trying to do colors here. So, you know, just a second for me. Um, so I wasn't really wanting to watch a whole bunch in the way of videos. Well, you know, I'd already watched stuff on Netflix and I'm like, okay, well, this is boring. And there was some times where I just, I mean, it was almost like depression, like just loss of interest, you know, um, when we didn't know if it was COVID or not. Um, I had to be masked up when my wife came down and gave me food, but like she came down and gave me food and went right back up of course she's got all the kids to herself and you know just I mean craziness like that so we were just like okay well this isn't fun and so um but there was a while where I was just like laying in bed and all I could do basically was just like lay in bed and think that's a really dangerous place to be in too um especially for someone with anxiety like myself well, I started thinking about um, Christmas projects because you know why not? Um, it was it was April, and so you know I was sick. I was like, well, I want to craft, and so for some reason I started thinking about Christmas projects, and I was like, okay, well this will be fun. Um, let's you know go on this journey because uh, there's nothing else that I want to do. So when I was laying there, you know, I was thinking of like, so my mother-in-law has in her house, you know, it's very like old fashioned and, um, and you know, like my aunt's houses and, you know, just different people. I mean, there's such, such a difference in the way of like how, you know, houses are built how they're decorated and everything now um than how they used to be but um it's also kind of nostalgic for me mainly because of my aunts and everything you know people would have like china cabinets or they would have like those display cabinets or you know whatever that has little knickknacks and stuff on them well i was thinking about can't even remember which aunt it was, but anyway, um, they used to have the little, um, like Christmas towns and my mother-in-law has some like similar things. I don't know if she has a Christmas town or not, but you know, similar, similar concept. And so, um, I was thinking about that, and I was like, man, that would be really neat on a journal, you know, um, but, like, how would you write in it? Well, if you make it where it can kind of lay, you know, flat or, or you know, semi-flat, um, but it, my initial thought was if I make it specifically for that purpose, for it to be, like, a Christmas style town um like a winter scene then we would um you know someone that bought the journal or um uh, was gifted the journal or whatever would kind of go into it knowing hey there's a whole bunch of houses stuck on top uh you know i can't really be rough with the cover uh while they are adhered nicely can't really be rough with the cover, got a, you know, it's, it's a conversation piece of sorts, as my dad would say. 
so I got thinking about it. I was like, well, I'd really like to make, you know, one of those little Christmas towns and uh, make it where, you know, it's a journal that someone can use and, you know, they can write things for, you know, even generations if they want to. So that's where the initial idea came from. When I was laying in bed and didn't know if I had COVID or not at that point. So then I was like, okay, miniature houses. Oh, genius. Let's do uh, Monopoly. So the Monopoly houses, I figured, were the correct size. And were a decent shape and all that. Um, you know, you got your houses, you got your hotels. I was like, sweet, let's do it. So, that's kind of how that happened. So that's how I came up with the idea. So yeah. I'm really excited because it's about time for me to, you know, bind the journal together and just decorate the inside, but, um, I had to get this done because it was driving me insane. You know, when you're working on a project and all you want to do is finish that project because you can't wait to see the outcome. Now, do I think this is going to be the perfect journal? Of course. No, not at all. But, I think it will be a nice journal, very unique journal, and you know, it's something that's interesting that I can say I've done, and you know, I've seen people do the vignette boxes and such that um, Tim Holtz has, and you know, stuff like that, and while I haven't done those, I was like, you know, it would be an interesting thing to just do a journal, kind of like that. You know, decorate it up like a little Christmas town. And and I originally thought of like, you know, those Tim Holtz half trees. I don't think they make those ones anymore. I think last year was the last year for them. Um, but it was... It was a, going to be a good idea, I thought, to lay one down, like the uh, townspeople are getting ready to put up this tree, you know, and put some lights around it, but then, obviously, I couldn't get them. And I was like, oh, I don't know if, you know, how that would be in proportion, because if it's bigger than every single house on here, I mean, I don't know, maybe that would work, but I thought it could also look a little ridiculous, so... So I didn't do that. All right, hang on a second. I need to get a uh, charger. Also guys, I'd like to point out that uh, I do have some Christmas journals that I forgot about from last year that, um, sorry, hang on, I'm trying to find an outlet. Okay, sorry, I found one. Had to unplug my wife's straightener from under her vanity, so don't tell her. Um, okay. So, anyway, um, 
Yeah, I've got a few uh, Christmas journals that I did last year that, um, you know, due to certain circumstances, I was just so done with Christmas and, like, not even in the Christmas mood last year. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, my wife and I used to teach a kid's um, Wednesday night group at the church we went to. And one of our kiddos died uh, right before Christmas. And so I was just not, I mean, usually I'd like to finish some, you know, Christmas stuff up. Um, and then, you know, even if you're nearing Christmas and no one's really buying Christmas stuff anymore that year. Um... We usually like to get some more stuff just kind of cranked out while you're still, still in the Christmas spirit or not. But obviously, um, that was not quite the case, and we, we had to take some time, and it was just, it was rough. So, so I got done with uh, my Christmas stuff a bit early last year and just didn't, wasn't feeling it, man. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I've got some journals, like I said, that I was uh, working on last year around that time, and you know, I just, I didn't put them on my Etsy, I didn't, you know, I just tucked them away with all my Christmas stuff, and was like, you know what, we'll do it next year, and I can, whoa, sorry guys, knocked you silly, um, here, let me see if I can fix this a little bit better, there we go, um, so yeah, I was just not, in the Christmas spirit after that it was I mean it was not in the Christmas crafty spirit let's let's you know I was I was in the Christmas spirit as far as like religion and stuff but I was not good I was not having the crafting for sure so sweet um to add some more up here and we'll just kind of keep going around um now this is going to be kind of interesting so what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to oh no nope 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 hang on So, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you see that texture paste. Obviously, if it's an opaque matte or opaque uh, white, then it's going to be the same color, or at least very similar to the exact color of this heavy, uh, this white heavy gesso. So, um, like I said a bit ago, you know, if if I don't cover it all up with gesso. Or if I don't cover, you know, part of it up with the texture paste, it's fine because one way or the other it will be covered by white. So, and see, I keep missing that one spot. Okay. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. 
just add a little bit here on the sides. Fantastic. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is add some over here. Add some right there. Hang on, I'm going rogue with my right hand. I'm left-handed if you can't tell. And So yeah, I've got some uh, journals that, like I said, that I've that I did last year that I'm going to put up in my Etsy. Um, I'll, of course, do a flip through on here. Uh oh. That's scary. Well, that's certainly not something you want. No, why is it not working now? Uh-oh. Hey guys, we might be in trouble with these lights. That's why, I think. Okay. Okay, so let's hope that's the reason. I think there was like a kink in the wire. That's what caused it to stop. So if I put this like that, maybe. So if this happens again, where my lights just don't work, I'm still selling this journal. It will just be, uh, you know, significantly lower priced. Because after I bury it under this wire, under this texture paste, and through the whole book, and under these houses that I've super glued down, I mean, there's just no way, right? There's just no way to redo it. Okay, so I dropped a little bit of super glue down here. I'll get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing, or at least kind of what I'm doing. Something with the amount of pressure I'm putting on this wreath. I just don't quite understand it. so weird because once it gets up to a certain point then it stays lit somewhat okay so I'm going to quit messing with it for right now I'm going to go over here and keep adding houses, and hopefully 
when this dries by sometime, I don't know, tomorrow, the next day, sometime next year, or something like that, we'll be in good shape. So weird though, so it's kind of like it's losing its connection somehow. Because of the way that something right here is running, so. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Keep adding some of these. Okay. So go in with a smaller palette knife. going to keep filling in so you can kind of see these streets um, these groups of houses and such I just really think this was a neat idea you know something that I've never seen done before um, however it very well may have been done before I'm not sure so if you guys have ever seen this or anything like this done on a journal please let me know because I would love to see how it turned out and you know stuff like that so all right don't you dare go out again I'll try and put one here sure See, because this keeps raising up and it's really annoying. Hmm. No, quit blinking. I think it's like a weird kink in the, uh, by the wreath. I can't remember if I put, if I like wrapped it around too tight or if, you know. Because those lights can get tangled pretty easy, so. And I mean, it's a it's a really thin little wire, so. No idea what the deal is.
Sorry, I'm trying to focus so that these lights didn't go out, but um, as you can see, that kind of happened again. And I can't figure out why. it might be some strain I put on it here on the, on the wreath. Let me see what the deal might be. It's going to be really upsetting when uh, I get almost done with it and uh, the lights quit working. It's kind of a pain. All right. Let's see here. Okay. If you guys can't hear, or if you guys can or can't hear that, that's the baby. She is down here with me for a moment. Okay, well this is irritating. And I don't know why the lights wouldn't be working now, but I'm kind of making a mess of that. Okay, so... Man, I've got a rag here somewhere. Okay, there it is. Okay. Oh, good grief. This is really annoying. I bet you guys are like, well, let's see how Austin gets himself out of this one. Well, Austin's not sure how this is going to go. On the other hand, do you see how difficult it is to see where the lights are when uh, the lights aren't on? All right, let's see for a second what the deal could be if... Okay. Now, let's see here. I've got this. That is twisted up. Tell you what, let's do this. This wreath is a mess now anyway. I've got another one. Which, by the way, thank you to whoever sent me this in Happy Mail last year. So I'm pretty sure that's what the deal was. Because now they're on. So, every time... Every time I move this specific part right here, it is turning off. So I think I just put a kink in the wire somehow too much, I don't know, to where it turns them off because it loses connection or something. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is unwind it and we're not going to wind it around the wreath this time if you're holding your breath for me uh one thank you to take a breath because this could be a while oh i fi i figured it out it's that stupid knot I put in it because, uh, you know, I can't actually remember why I put the knot in it, but that was dumb. Also, this is getting incredibly difficult because my 
fingers are starting to stick together because of the insane amount of um, gesso that is now caking my hands. Just in case you were wondering. Huh. Let there be light. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Hang on, I'll be right back. baby is wanting her food okay so now I've got my hands somewhat clean where I can actually work now that's good okay now if that was the problem I was gonna say if that was the issue then why are my lights not turning on but we're good we're good okay so this wreath is kind of done now. It does look kind of cute, so I'll save it, let it dry, and see if I want to do something with it later. Okay. So. Lights work. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is hopefully these lights will not uh, fail on me again. Because that was rough. So I'm just going to put them in a very, very, very loose circle. Man, I'm really glad I didn't texture paste that down in there and, and have to like rip it up because I wouldn't have thought of that if I didn't remember what I'd done with it, you know. Okay. Fantastic. Let's put that there. Use a small spatula. Put some stuff there. Hey, Wims. We have really weird names for each other and for our kids, so... Yeah, we call her Wim. W-E-M. And, uh... Yeah, it's a long story. All right, so now, am I just going to super glue it? Sure. Super glue looks like it is just about to run out. Which is not fun because I don't have any more. Okay, sorry guys, I am out of frame and I am blocking your view. I know, I'm sorry, but I had to figure that out. That's driving me insane now. Are you talking to the camera, Wims? Try to squirt some of this glue down in there too. Ah, that scared me. Good grief. It has stopped up. Yeah. 
Now, at some point, this should hold. Emphasis on the phrase at some point and should. Okay. So now back to this, now that we got that fiasco figured out. Man, I'm sweating. I don't know about you all. Yeah, I was about to like throw my phone and quit YouTube and spend my life trying to figure out what went wrong with that, with those lights. Okay. I feel safe on moving us back over now. Not gonna lie guys, this is pretty freaking cool. So thank you and congrats to whoever buys this in the future. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so I know I just pushed that one down really hard. Cause I didn't realize there was a wire right there. So maybe Oh, come on. Well, there's that whole living life like a hobo trying to figure out what went wrong thing again. Okay, please go back to holding your breath. Just kidding, don't actually do that. Well, in theory, this is a really neat thing. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to go through here testing connections then. Okay, let's see here. What could possibly be the issue now? So let me protect that wreath for a second. Start unrolling this. So right here is where it comes through, and it goes here, 
and it goes here. And those have been buried for a while, so those aren't those aren't going anywhere. That's really good down with texture paste. This one comes over here. Okay. We go right here. We go there. Let me go. somewhere right here I think and then there and it comes over here I believe maybe not I don't know I don't even know where it goes anymore okay Okay, so I'm gonna check houses now, I guess. I mean, at least I guess the houses are stuck on well. Okay. So is it still an issue with this? Good grief. These are sensitive. Ariel, if I ever have this idea again, don't let me do it. Okay, so let's turn that light off for a second and see. Okay. So let's, let's finish up these houses here for a minute before before we have the light catastrophe again. I don't know why they're doing that. Theoretically, once everything dries, we shouldn't have this problem. To be honest, I probably shouldn't have this problem to begin with. Take a look at this real quick and see what the deal might be. Because it's cutting out and I'm not even touching it. I mean, right now I am, but I wasn't. So I'm thinking it's something to do with a small kink in, because it's a double-stranded wire. Is she hungry or just cranky? I don't know. Well, she shouldn't be hungry, but she is acting hungry. She shouldn't be hungry, but she's acting hungry. It sounds like me. Yeah, probably. So the baby's really spoiled and likes to be held at all times and basically goes, How dare you peasants? How dare you peasants put me down? 
So she's a wee bit upset with mom that, you know, she put her down. Because, you know, God forbid she lays down like a baby does every once in a while. Okay. I'm going to take a break from that uh, irritating light situation for a minute and let them, I don't know, regain consciousness or something. So let me just put a disclaimer on here now that if uh, you buy this journal, don't buy it for the lights because they may or may not work by the time you get it. Let's just throw that out there for for all that it's worth. Don't buy it solely based on the lights, please. Because I have no idea why this is doing this. Um, but if any of you are masters of these types of lights, then please let me know what I'm doing wrong. This is also why I don't decorate the house for Christmas. Just in case anyone's wondering. Okay. Is there anything that I can do from here? I seriously think it's something to do with the very last light bulb. Like, it's got the, like, the end on it isn't happy or something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pick this whole contraption up. I'm going to keep this out of the texture paste and out of the gesso, the top one. I'm going to put the top one on the outside of the wreath to kind of hang out that way. Well, okay, so I guess it's all going to be on the outside of the wreath because of uh, how big I had to make the, the loop there. Sweet, we have victory. Or at least that's what I'm calling it right now. Okay. So now I'm going to go through and kind of tidy these up a little bit, seriously. That's the weirdest thing. It's something to do with the end of this, because if I touch it like this, that happens. Maybe. Okay, so I thought that was the reason. Does the end of this need to be 
wonder if the end is just like shorting out. Okay, let's call that good. So that's going to hang out there. Maybe. Sweet. Okay, so let's go with that. Sounds good to me, and I want to go to bed. All right. All right, remember how earlier in the video I was talking about building up the edges? This is what I'm talking about. All right, sweet. So now I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to turn off the lights and hope when I wake up in the morning that they will still work. All right, so thank you all for going on that very irritating journey with me. And again, if you're going to purchase this journal solely for the fact that it has lights on it, please don't. Um, or if you still want to roll the dice, then uh, don't leave me a bad review if uh, you get it and these lights crap out for some reason because, you know, they quit on me how many times tonight? And uh, what was the other thing? Um, oh, I almost forgot the most important part. So I've never used these before, but these are the Tim Holtz Stickles. Or stick, stick, yeah, no, stickles, yeah. Distress Stickles. And uh, I'm gonna make it snow. Okay. Now let's see. Let's 
sweet. And I'm planning on putting some blue distress ink around the edges and maybe sealing those. Um, but we'll just have to see. So anyway, if I don't see you guys before Christmas, Merry Christmas.